So I wanted to show you how to use your CAS as well for differentiating functions and I'm really linking this to worked example 3 where we looked at the differential operator. Now to put or use the differential operator in your CAS you need to go to the menu and then go to the calculus menu, so 4 in my CAS and we're going to use a lot of these functions over our course. The one we're going to use now is derivative, so in my calculator it's 4, 1. And you can see here the differential operator d, d something. Now the function that we looked at in worked example 3 was x squared plus 2x plus 3. And we differentiate with respect to the variable that's in the function, which is x. So we type an x into that box and press enter. And you can see the answer that we got, which was 2x plus 2. Okay. The other functions that we looked at, we'll do derivative calculus menu, calculus derivative. You can see there. We had e to the power of, so it was an exponential. You have to use this e here underneath the log menu. You can't use the e here. This is Euler's number e, so we use that e. And it looks different. It's a bold e. Now the power was x squared, so we actually had x squared up in the power. And we differentiated with respect to x. So now we can push enter. Oops. And you can see we got 2x e to the x squared, which was what we got when we did that by hand. The last one that we had, we actually had z in there. And again, menu, calculus, derivative. That's cool. You just put your function in. It was sine of z. And that entire thing was all squared. So sine of z squared. This time the variable was z. So we pop a z in and then press enter. And you can see the answer that we got was 2 sine z cosine z. Okay. Um, so you can see that you can use the CAS very quickly and easily to differentiate a function using the differential operator d, d, x or d, d, z or whatever variable you have. It's a great way to also check your answers if you're doing your differentiation by hand.